Hi there, it's day seven of Yogtober. Woo, we've done a whole week. That's fantastic. So I'm hoping you're feeling the benefits if you've been doing it every day. I know I am. And it's a challenge. It really is hard even to squeeze 15 minutes of, of doing something for yourself in. But I'm, I'm really determined. It's the only month this whole year that I do this. And um, I really enjoy it, actually. I think it's, um, it's good to do. So hopefully you can, uh, if you're watching this, you can join in and maybe um, get the benefits of the yoga magic too. All right, so my first one for today is one where you have to sort of warm up the brains. So, <laughs> the brain even. So we're gonna go down to the foot, lie on your back and legs and arms up in the air. So from this position, just lift your shoulders off the ground. Keep the neck with it so you don't strain your neck at all. So just sort of try and balance your, your head on the atlas so you're not like dragging it back so you shouldn't feel any strain at all. So you're lifting the shoulders. Let that come from the actual abdomen area so your core strength is lifting your shoulders up. So now I've tried to explain that. I'm just trying to make sure you don't get neck sprain. So we lift up towards the feet. And then opposite side, so right arm is going back and the left leg. So right arm and left leg, the right leg staying there. And then I'm going to lift both back up and lift. And then the other side. So like I say, it does take a bit of brain <laughs> movement. So that's, that's two done. We're going to do ten. So just keep going if you can. Three. Four. Right, make sure you do a little lift with both as you come up. So lift and then the opposites. Lift, opposites, lift, opposites. That's brilliant. Okay, I've lost count a little bit, but I think that's about five because it was walking. So okay. seven, I think. Eight. Nine. Ten. Excellent, right. Ooh, we're just hug the knees in towards the chest, just hold on to the shins and just rock from side to side. Just massaging the lower back there. Nice. Hands to the knees and just loop the knees in big wide circles. Sometimes it's quite nice to cross the big toes here so that they kind of keep interlocked. Sending your knees out wide and the other way, just send them the other opposite direction. Bring the feet down to the floor, wriggle your shoulder blades down and away from your ears so the neck is long and you just gaze up to the ceiling as you dig the elbows in, make fists and just bring your hips up into the air. So wriggle again a bit more here so you can walk your feet back even more. Try and keep the feet really parallel and straight as wide as your hips and don't let the knees widely splay out. Just keep pressing those hip bones up, squeeze the mighty glutes to try and get you a bit more height. Hold the space under the neck, under the chin, and then roll down through the spine. So it's like a bit of a spinal massage as you drop down each vertebra. And then let's dig in and go up again. And breathe there, really go higher this time if you can. Hold, dig down through the elbows, and down again. So have a rest. Maybe window wiper the knees from side to side. And then we're just going to press up again. And this time go onto the balls of the feet. So you can go on tiptoes and then press up high again to stretch out the calves. Squeeze, squeeze the elbows. And then roll back down the vertebra. Roll the way down. Hug your knees in and rock. Just let the feet go down again and this time dig down the elbows, lift as normal, walk your feet back, stay flat footed and then once you're up high, as high as you can go, let the left leg stick up into the air and we'll just hold there for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and release and the whole thing comes down hugging. 
Same thing again on the other side. Feet come down, dig the elbows in, lift through the hips and the right leg into the air this time. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ease back down. All right, just hug in and roll from side to side. And then let go of your legs with the hands. Just leave them on the floor like a goal post. And just rock your knees all the way to the left and all the way to the right. So that they're hovering in the air without you guiding them. And just get, it just stretches out just below your rib cage. Really nice different area than when you leave your feet on the ground with this one. The side of your ribs. Okay, come to the centre now. Whew, just drop your feet to the floor. Lift up a little bit. As you lift up, just shimmy so that your left hip can come down. And that just allows a bit more um, give for your shoulders. And you just let the both knees come to the left and slide the right foot off and um, hovering so it's straight. And then if you can, take hold of it with your hand and just bring it slowly down to the floor. Keep hold of it down to the floor and just look in the opposite direction. Try and keep your arm at shoulder height. And then if you're feeling really brave, take the right hand and hold on to the left foot. So that, that sort of heel has come in towards the glutes. And then the idea is that you pull your left heel in towards the glutes and try and get your shoulder blades back down on the ground. So the cat pulling its tail. Take a few breaths here. Okay, ready for the other side. Just bend the leg to get out of that. And I'll guide you through it again. So we just lift the hips, drop the right hip in the middle. Let both knees go over and then, oh, I've got enough space. And you just have your shoulders out at, at um, well, the arms out at shoulder height. Stretch out the top leg into the hand and lift your shoulder off to catch hold of this bottom leg. Pull that foot in towards the glutes and just drop back down. So you're trying to get both shoulders flat to the floor as you look in the opposite direction, extending your left leg long. Running in the hamstring one, but also glutes at the same time and thigh, big quad. Just relax the muscles of the face. One more breath here, this uber twist. And then bend the knee to come back out of it. That's great. And then just come back onto your mat if you've gone off, off of it. And just wiggle your hands underneath your body. Lift up the legs into the air. And again, just rise up off the shoulders so that you can, um, so your neck is not straining. And we're just going to drop and do 10 of these leg lifts. So you can let your head go down and then meet back up there or stay up, it's up to you. So let's do three, let's try and do 10. Four. And if this is too tricky, you can bend the knees, just do touch taps. Hinging from the hips, touch taps, keeping the knees bent. Okay, so I think that was five, six, seven, eight, nine, and well done, ten. So then just bring your knees in, try and take hold of the outside edges of the feet and bend the knees, pulling the toes towards your head end, and then trying to bring the knees down close to the ground. Long neck, and this is what you call a happy baby. So you can either stay still or roll around, and you can extend one leg and then the other. It's quite nice to be playful in this happy baby. Just roll around and see what happens. Also, quite nice to just stay still and look up and just really pull on those feet. Pull back and down, and then press the tailbone down again so the flat of the back is pressing into the ground. Okay, good. Bring your feet in and just rock up to sitting. We'll just do a couple of seated ones. 
Extend the legs long, the shoulders roll back, sit in a nice dandasana. A couple of breaths here. Okay, and then it's going to bring the right knee in. And as you bring the knee all the way into the chest, bring it out. So, and you inhale as you extend to that leg long. Then the other one. So just keep going a little way down like that. Cleansing this one. Just one more each side. And then we just um, curl, prop yourself up on the elbows like this. I'm just going to do the piston legs, which is just grazing the floor with the heels. Extend one leg and then the other leg. So just keep strong legs, keep pushing the elbows down so there's no collapsing going on. Just keep nice strong legs and posture. So you're really holding this position here in the core and that's doing all of the work. So just drag. It's not biking, it's not bicycling. It's uh, it actually cycling a bit. <laughs> oh my goodness. And uh, I think it's the M6. Whenever I Say the wrong word and blame the lemsips at the moment. Okay, so just keep going with this pistons of an engine and zoom, zoom. For a little bit. A couple more. Keep digging in. It's really important not to sag. If you can just keep it in your abdomen, just keep it away. One or two more. And drop the feet, drop yourself. And just do the window wiper legs. Yes. Left and right. Then just bring the feet together, let the knees go out, and slide in the goddess positions, gaze in forward. Relax in the jaw. Deep breaths. Stretch out the legs long, extend the arms and roll to the right and just push yourself all the way back up. Just come to that seated position again, just lift the right leg in, let, let the right, the left leg stay long and then cross it over, cross it over and high, lift up top towards your self, wrap your elbow around the opposite arm, that leg and just look over the shoulder. It's really fair. And if it feels okay, you can reach up as high as you can and just get on the opposite side of this um, leg as you look over the shoulder. Just gives a bit more resistance. This way. Okay, let's just unwind that. Do the opposite side. So first of all, to start off by hugging around into the knee, looking over the shoulder. If it feels okay, reach and drop the other the side as you twist. Nice. And then just extend the legs long. Press the arms down by the glutes, fingers pointing towards you. And just bring the feet to the floor as you press up into this sort of incline position. So I'll do it that side, hopefully you can see. Reach, squeeze everything, lovely tricep stretch. Keep the neck strong, keep squeezing the glutes. And slowly back down, just fold over your legs. Surrender there for a moment. Slowly rolling up, just roll the shoulders a few times, and then just reach up with the right and up behind with the left, and just really stretch back. So push your head into that forearm. 
from the other side, each other come back. Okay. Nice. Okay, this next one, um, it's a bit tricky. If you start on all fours, all you need to do is lift the right leg nice and high. So you're really using the glutes um, here as, as you lift the knee high. Then take the knee behind the other knee, open the ankles and sit back down. Roll the shoulders back, gaze forward, and then we come forward, bring the knee down and the other leg. So you lift high with that glute, then bring it behind the knee, splay the legs and sit back. So I'm just going to do five of those. So that was one, my second round. That's it. That's two. Now the third round. Sway back. Then the next leg, lift high behind. Okay, now we're just going on to the fourth one. Come back down. And the final one, lift behind, down. And the second leg. Nice. Bit of a cow face one, that one. Go on, Kassana. Okay, I think that's enough for today. Namaste.